having a conversation in my head. One is an artist, one is an engineer, and they're fighting with each other. So I wanted to go into the world of fashion, but I realized that there was a lot that was wrong with the industry, and I didn't want to contribute to the waste. Uh, so instead, I wanted to solve that problem and come up with a solution which would reduce the waste in the fashion industry. So I didn't use them, but I was inspired by my nephew because I had bought him some clothes, and. By the time I, I got them to him in Denmark, he didn't fit in them and I, it was annoying, but it made me, it was a signal for me to pursue children's clothing and look at children's clothing in a different way to adult clothing. This taller, a mí personalmente me ha aportado como otra visión de la creatividad, de cómo te ves tú como diseñador. Entonces de eso se trata ser diseñador, o sea, visualizar a futuro. Sí, la, la verdad yo siento que la universidad te da la mayoría, casi todas las herramientas para que puedas competir, tanto nacional como internacionalmente. Edit in Puebla has so many different resources and I think that the um, Ibero University also has so many different um, different classes with students with different disciplines that it's a very good community for people to come together and be able to create incredible projects as well. So I've had the pleasure of teaching the textile design students at Ibero and the sort of progress that I've seen in that short one week workshop was incredible and I think they're very engaged intellectually and they're making things and really throwing themselves at the program. Mm -hmm.